Good evening. I am Brian Scholler reporting for FYI News. Our big story tonight is the youth of Britain question their bad press in the media. There's a lot of good things that happen as well as bad, not as many people see it. It's wrong, but there's nothing, it's stereotyping. I think it's unfair, like, how everyone's seen as, like, a yob as well, like, a hood up or something super like that. In this report, young people are feeling increasingly worried about how negative press may impact on their opportunities. We sent our main reporter, Rachel Lee, to Newcastle to find out more. Why I? Hoodies, jobs, druggies, asbos, binge drinkers are all terms used to describe young people in the media today. We ask, are the media making a false impression of British youth and has it had an impact on public perception? According to a recent Maury report, 71% of media stories about young people were negative and a third of these articles concerned the issues of crime. We are bombarded daily with negative headlines. Do the media correctly represent the views of how the public view young people? Things like the Jeremy Carl show and things that are shown on uh, which show the bad side of young people. Uh, these definitely do influence people, but you have to rise above these things and uh, make up your own mind and try not to be influenced. Not all of them are bad. I'm a pretty nice person. <coughs> these are <laughs> A lot of people are frightened of young people and we don't want to go out because of young people, but I think they get a bad name just because of the minority, you know. They're hippie, they're lazy. They sit in the front of a computer. They've got their, they've got their go, you know. It's not as bad as they make out. Not everybody is the same as, like, all the people that like do bad things and stuff. Yeah. I think there's a hell of a lot of pressure on young people, and they're not portrayed very well at all. I think they're a lost generation, and they get ignored, sadly. And the media is absolutely rubbish about the youth. Hates them really badly. Well, uh, I'm a journalist, so. <laughs> I think it's influenced a lot by it, but I think there is still a lot of young people out there that give themselves a bad reputation just because I'm of the I've got a <laughs> The media kind of thinks everyone's uh, carries knives and stuff. Like, I've never even seen anyone carry a knife. Wait, I've, I know people carry knives, but like one person out of like a hundred or something. They don't publish the good things that's done. It's always the bad things. And it, it's, the media does it really bad. They hype it up. And then, they, and then when some kid does a really good thing, just to show a piece in the papers or on the news, no. Why do the media spin stories about young people? To get an insight, we posed our questions to television reporter Jonathan Morell. We found an article which stated 40,000 young people between the ages of 10 and 18 were involved in drink-related crimes. We worked it out that was only actually 0.7% of young people. In your opinion, why do you think the media report things in this way? You know, bad news sells, and people, you know, like to, uh, like to be shocked by it, like to be appalled by it, and say, oh, isn't, this, isn't this disgraceful? I think it also, I think you're absolutely right, it does highlight the thing of statistics. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's not a lot, but when you say 40,000, uh, that sounds like a, a lot. But, but as you say, when you stop and think about it, well, actually, it, it isn't. It's a good headline. And as I say, it sells papers. Yeah. That's probably the reason why they've done it. According to a study of media articles written to young people, 71% of them are negative relating to youth crime. How do you think the negative portrayal affects young people? It's difficult, because if these things weren't reported, uh, the, the newspapers and the television would be accused of you know, censoring what might be a justifiable cause for concern within society, within communities. So it is, it's, it's a difficult one, and I would imagine it isn't pleasant, but sometimes we can't hide away, we can't run away from, you know, what actually might be happening out on the streets. The 2006-2007 British Crime Survey indicated that 65% of people thought that crime was rising nationally, 41% reported the view that crime in their local area had increased in the last two years. According to official figures concerning young people and crime, the number of crimes peaked in 1995. The levels of crime then decreased and have actually been stable since 2006. Do young people feel their opportunities are affected by the media using young people's stereotypes? I don't think so, because when people actually meet you, they like, kind of realise that you're not actually a total yob. Yeah. <laughs> if we're just seen as, like, hooligans and, like, loud noise and 
then people aren't willing to hire us and like give us opportunities that we may be ample for. A lot of people are quite stereotypical uh, these days and the media portrays a lot of stereotypes in the media. But there's some people who like, look at you, depending on your appearance, they'll like, read a book by its cover. As long as we're not doing anything wrong, it shouldn't affect us. Between the media and the youth of today, it shows there are still many bridges to be crossed. This is Rachel Lee reporting for FYI News in the Tool. Thank you, Rachel, for that report. Next time on FYI News, we report on the good work of the young carvers of today. My name is Brian Scholler, and thank you, and good night. Why I? I'll just think happy thoughts, happy thoughts.